welcome everyone, it's RP Jimmy and Bill back at you with some more WrestleQuest and we have to solve this puzzle because apparently they will not let us go forward without this so I think Muchacho Man is over here. Okay, so Bill, first off, okay. how are you doing? I'm doing good. Alright, so let's see what's okay, this one. So what you have to do yeah, go ahead. is you gotta get you gotta get Muchacho Man back to where he originally was. Okay. Alright, so let's which I believe was down here. Oops. Oh well, no, you gotta keep going further. Remember where yeah, no, I hit the, I hit the, the first the... pole was that he took out? Right, right here. I forgot the run okay, button. So it's been a while. It's, it's been a while since we played this game. Okay, so I'm I'm back. I'm Oh you want me to go no, up no, there? Go back oh, okay. to like that Yeah, up there. Alright, first I gotta fight All this right, guy. Well, we'll have to deal with this we'll have to deal with him real quick. Bill, you know what I've had stuck in my head, by the way? What? The theme song. I could see my fantasy of a beyond the hell. You know what song that is? Isn't that the NXT? No. <laughs> uh, not, not, then I You're kind of I'm close, gonna... though, actually. Tough enough. What was it? Tough enough. Oh, tough enough! Yeah! Because with my uh, six-month Peacock account for one dollar that I have, I decided to um, to binge uh, Tough Enough. Ah. I did not really... Are we talking about the days of Maven, yep. Nidia? Well, that's the, I think that's the only one that has the... I think you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I feel as if WWE really missed the boat. Like, I feel that that Tough Enough should have been their American Idol. And what I mean by that is we should have be seeing, like, Tough enough season 15 this year. Because mm -hmm. I'm, uh, to mind, oh, I forgot how freaking slimy. What is he even doing? Um. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's get back to this, because. Alright, I'm back yeah. up here. Okay. So get in position. So go to Barbie again? Barbie? Bar 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 yeah. Okay, so she's going to click on that machine. Oh, it's got to go down. Okay. Yep, and Muchacho Man's going to go across. Okay, that makes sense. Well, he's not going. He's going to go across. Right, let me try it again. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now what? Take out the pole? Uh... Actually, you could go back to being Barbie. All and right. then you're going to go back down to your left. Oh, back down to my left. Right there. Mm -hmm. Am I going yeah, so keep going past down. these fire things? No, oh, go down. down. Oh, okay. Well, well I can't Okay, I guess anymore. you got to get that. Okay, so you got to get that back up. Okay. <laughs> So I gotta go be. Back. No, so... go back. Oh, I see. You want me to go? Oh, I hit the thing again and then come back. Mm -hmm. okay. Now I go down from there. Yeah. By the way, give a quick shout out on whose walkthrough we're using. Blue dragon. Okay. All right, now what? I'm back here. Okay. So you're gonna quickly go through the blue lights. I thought it hurts me. Oh, never. Uh. Okay, never mind. Go back to being Muchacho Man. He's okay. gonna take that down. Okay. 
great. All right, so now I, I'm her and I go to the right. Yes. And then you're going to go to that machine. Hit it? Yep, hit it. Same thing with Chacha Man goes across? Yep, same thing with Machacha Man. Uh, stay with Muchacho. Here, or do I keep going straight? Keep going to the right. You're gonna eventually have to face the shark. Alright, let me face the shark now. Yeah, so I watched all season one. I just started on season two. Apparently, there's one season that's only one episode. What? That's what I said. I was like, I don't remember that. Maybe they... Season okay. 4, I think it was? Would that have been the million dollar one with I, the Miz? I don't know because I don't... I'm not able to look at it, but... I mean, you could look it up and see if it was the million dollar one. Because I remember, like, the one that the Miz was in, it was, like, segments on show. Like, they didn't have... Like their own show. So then, what's this episode? Then? I wonder if it's like a recap of everything. <laughs> it might be. I didn't look to see how long it was. I don't think it was very long, though. Know? So what? So what do you think people are doing? Oh, let me see what this is. Uh, oh, can I can get rid of this guy? From the first season. Like, what is everyone up to? What's, I mean, I know Maven does like some YouTube show. Josh Matthews obviously does announcing, I think, still for Impact. Chris Nowinski does his charity thing. Medical. Yeah. Is he he's dead? Doing, you know. No, Nowinski's still alive. I don't know why. I thought he was dead. What is do do we know what the others are doing? Let me you know what well I got the video on the line. Specifically I guess Nidia and Taylor, because those are the two finalists for the winnings. Nidia. I'll start with Nitty. Okay. Uh. Okay, so according to Wikipedia, she began training in February 2010 at the Culinary Institute in Houston, Texas. So she's learning, or she was learning to become a cook or a chef. I feel like I did know that, actually. Uh, for Taylor, okay, she's married to Brian Kendrick. Really? Oh, wow. That was a, I feel like that was a very low-key relationship. And again, that's one of the things I hate about today's wrestling. I don't, like, I feel like once ever, everyone knows what was in a relationship with who. Whereas back then, I assume, because when, when do you think that they got together? In the mid 2000s? Mid 2000s. So there wasn't as much social media then. I miss, you know what? Um, I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. I miss not knowing who people are with and how, and like when they have babies. So, okay, so according to Taylor's Wikipedia, she is involved in Brian Kendrick's Wrestling Pro Wrestling. That's the name of the promotion. His promotion yeah. is a pro wrestling. Wrestling Pro Wrestling. What did he take inspiration from the Pro Wrestling Nintendo game? Maybe. Uh, they have monthly wrestling shows in Southern California that streams on Twitch. You could see her as a character named Mean Janine. Oh my God! <laughs> All right, Hall, let's get back to this. Let's let's continue on. Yeah, with let, this. let's get back. So to the I'm game. gonna assume I have to turn the light off here, but I'm gonna wait for you. Yes. Oh, I can't. It's on the other side. Okay. So then, okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go up. 
go to the right. Oh, okay. And you're gonna go to that machine. Right, and then you're bank. gonna go back down. Stay with Muchacho. Okay. And then you're going to go to the right. Am I going to the next screen? Yes, you're gonna go to the next screen. Oh, you're okay. going to kill me. Oh. Made it through, did you? Good luck getting through this. What an asshole. Even if you do, you'll need someone to help you hit the second switch for the cake. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's a good thing I was. My party was conveniently split into two. Up or to the right, or go to the right, all right, and down to turn off the light. Yep, turn off the light, and then you're gonna go up. Yeah. If you go to your left, and up, you can hit that and get your height. All right, great. And then you're gonna have to face uh, Oscar to grab you. Oh, I didn't even see him. It's so dark over here. Wrestling Pro Wrestling. Wrestling Pro... Now I'm going to have to see if it's still going. Yeah. Because who knows when Taylor's Wikipedia page was updated last. Wrestling Pro Wrestling. That, that would be like being in a, in like a sports league. It'd be like football, pro football. <laughs> or hockey pro hockey. All right, I, I got a question for you. Yes. I just thought about it. So, kind of thank you to Taylor and Brian Kimber for influencing me. Question: If you ran your own wrestling coach, what would you name it? Hmm. No, something that would probably be something. <sighs> I don't have a clue. I think it would have to be. It depends on like what kind of talent I have and what kind of promotion it would wind up being and mm -hmm. stuff, stuff like that. Why? Do you have a name for your promotion that you have in mind already? I I do actually, and I and I have a whole idea and everything. Wow! Well, yeah, I never knew that. You were you wanted to be a promoter. If I could get the backing, you know, and other people to help. I think you could self fund. Okay. So the promotion I'm thinking of would yeah, be let me called... hear this. Go ahead. I'm I'm gonna take a sip of my drink and listen to this. Alright. It would be called College Championship Wrestling. Okay. CC dub. We would do we could do, or we would do, monthly wrestling shows in college towns. Okay. And I, and I just recently thought about what, like, the main championship would be. <laughs> okay. It would be, I, I'd either have it be, like, the valedictorian championship <laughs> or the head of the class championship. I, I like the head of the class better of the two. For sure. Yeah, we would just run monthly shows. It, it doesn't have to be on the campus of a college. Mm -hmm. It just has to be in the city of a college. So, like, um, what? Okay, what? What do you? Would you know where like the nearest college is for you? Sure. Uh, let me think real quick. Uh, it would probably be. Well, I'm just gonna think of a college. That's off the top of my head. Um. Rowan University. Okay, where is that? That is in that is in South Jersey. Okay, so we could do a show in the city where Rowan is. Right, which is Glassboro, I believe. Okay, so Glassboro could get a show. 
Um, I actually live about 10 or so minutes away outside of a college town. Okay. Up here. It's called Mansfield University, mm -hmm. which is in Mansfield. So I could do a show in Mansfield, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So I, I already have an idea to add to your idea, by the way. Okay. You, you can already have a specialty type match that is all exclusive only to your, you know, not exclusive, but you know, the equivalent to the X division for, or the ultimate X for, um, you know, for impact and. Okay. So you could have the dorm room match. <laughs> <laughs> Two wrestlers in a dorm room and it's basically a cage match except you could escape either through the window or through the door oh, <laughs> oh that would be great we're gonna have a good old fashioned dorm room dorm room match, match. <laughs> oh oh and you know oh, I just thought of this too <laughs> so the, the authority figure for college championship wrestling would have to be the dean yeah of course you would have you could be like D blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> and he comes dressed up all the time, like you know, in the in the robe and the hat. Right. All the, all the time. I like it. I also like the fact that you, like, I just imagine you in, uh, during your lunch break, like, you know what? I some more thoughts of this college championship wrestling idea. That I have. Okay. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna go up. Okay. Go to the right now. Okay. Uh, college section? championship wrestling. Uh, go to the right. Now, okay, up there, go up. I can. And then you're supposed to hit a button. Oh. No, go back up. Go back up. Yeah. Okay. Go to the right. Right about there. Yeah. You're I'm, supposed to be on switch. I'm hit, keep on hitting. Are you sure you're not told about this thing down here? I'm positive. Maybe it's, I'm just hitting A throughout this right now. Yeah. Or what, whatever button it is to be like the equivalent of oh, wait, the A button. Maybe this is it? No. no. Hmm. It's right, in, right where you are. Is it this? No. no. Are you sure it's not down there? I'm positive. I just watched the video. Oh, maybe that barrel thing? Drop the barrel? Where's the barrel thing? On the right. At the very end of the right. Okay, maybe. Well, this is as far as I can go. It doesn't hit let me hit it. Something, anything. No, nothing. Bill, nothing's here for you to hit. You better rewatch that video again. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm yeah, going Yeah, you rewatch that, and I'm going to heal our people. This is like the first portion of this game that we're really stuck in, I think. Yeah. After all this time. I don't even know why I'm healing Nuke. Nuke hasn't done shit since he's, we've gotten him. And where is the, what's his face? Slimy. He apparently is getting H, uh, experience, but damned if I could actually use him. I'm gonna look right now. He's not even in the stable. Oh! Okay, hold on. Well, here hold he on. is. Okay, yes. All right. So what you're gonna? Okay, go back to where you have. Just put Matacho Man. What over here? Yeah, for now. Go back to Barbie. Let me guess. I have to. Barbie has to hit that thing so that the thing lowers down. All right, I'm at Bar I'm yeah. Barbie. I'm Barbie now. The bar okay, so click on the machine again. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna go up. Right. Am I going Try to avoid? left or right? Okay. You're going to the right. Go down. down. Okay, this makes more sense now. Now what? Uh, try to. Okay, go up. Towards the light? Yeah. Oh, that pole. Turn it off. Oh no! Turn it off. The light made me go back to the start. I gotta do it again.
Are you sure Bar Bay is supposed to turn the light off? Yeah. Okay. Oh, because it's going up and down, so I gotta time it right. There we go. Okay, now you're Does Muchacho Man have to turn off the other light? Because there's a light to the right. Okay, so go down. But there's a the light right. there. Go down, down, now. Alright, to the right? Well, okay, that's okay. What, do I gotta go back to the left? Let's see, where's... Yeah, because you... Okay, now, go to the right, and then up. Wait, you just told me go to the left. I, I didn't mean to go back to, to the left. To the left, to the left. Go back to the right then. Alright, now what? Right, give me uh, give me a moment to get to where you are, and then I'll tell you what to do. Okay, so you're gonna go up. Oops. Go up with all these? Yes. For a pattern, then. There is no pattern. There's one on constantly. We can't go up. Right, I guess I'm just gonna have, have to take. To go. All right, hold on. Let me. <laughs> Dude, all my duct tape is being used. I'm not healing Nuke. He hasn't done shit. Go, 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 go! No. Yes! Go! No. Okay. Am I going up? Going up. Okay. And then you're gonna go to the right. And you're gonna go up again as soon as the fire goes out. Yep. Ah, there we go. Okay, now go back to being Muchacho Man. Okay. I am. Going to walk across. Wait. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yes. All right. I'll fight this I'll guy because I have to face this guy. Yeah. Well, maybe not. But I gotta go up or right after after him. Right. As you said, there's no way to avoid that. Yeah. All right. Let's talk more about tough enough. Okay. Uh. So Who we, else do you want to know? Uh, okay, so we know Nidia, we know Taylor, we know Maven, no we know Josh, Josh, we know Chris. Uh, God, it's not like we're doing Rudolph. You know Disher and Well, unfortunately, they don't have any of the other contestants with a Wikipedia. Okay, so which means they kind of faded out, I guess. I guess. They be they they stop being I guess a um was that a public figure? Yeah. I guess the only, the only person I can think of that I would be a little interested in is Pauline. She was the tall girl. And I think she had to leave because of injury. Alright, let me look her up. Hold on the end of the Okay, so I found this article from 2010. Paulina was described by Kaz as clumsy during the show, but also had an extremely marketable look by Al Snow, and it's not hard to see why. Standing six foot three, Paulina was taller than any of the other girls and most of the guys on the show. However, that meant she had to throw her long frame around. No, 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 no. Biggest fault car Paulina had was her confidence. After leaving the show and recovering, Paulina competed in another in a number of promotions, none really worth speaking of. 
but also surfaced on TNA as Disco Inferno's personal bodyguard in 2002. <laughs> Excuse me? Back when they were still holding weekly pay-per-views at the Asylum in Tennessee. And was also involved in the production for Tough Enough 2. Oh. There is, there is no indication that Paulina is still in the wrestling business. Mm. I mean, look, if, if it wasn't for her height, I don't know how far she would have gotten anyway. Oh, oh, okay. I got another one. Okay. Would you happen to remember Jessica? In Tough Enough Season 1? Yeah. No, no, there was a Victoria, there was a Bobby Joe. Are you sure it's Season 1? Yeah. So, let me let me explain. Are you sure it's the, the per, someone that actually made it past the auditions? She did not make it in. She didn't make it past the audition. Okay, okay. There, now that makes more sense. Okay. But she ended up uh, doing pretty okay for herself. Okay. You know why? Why? She became ODB. Wow. Good for her. Bam. Hey. Um, Bam. You know who I do want to know? Look up Bobby Joe. Because she said she wanted to do Playboy, and I want to know if she ever did it. Bobby Joe Anderson. B O B B I, I believe. And I think Joe is a separate word. That's J O. Yeah, it is. Okay, Bobby Joe. Uh, did I type that wrong? Look, we're oh. we're we're even apparently in karma. What does this even mean? I don't remember this. That's new. I guess we're a okay. little on the face side now that I'm looking at it. Would you say it's a little more to the right? Let me see. Yeah, I'd say a little more to the right. Alright, here, also let's let's continue this, because I'd like to get through this episode of of finishing this section, to be honest with you. <laughs> And All we're right, half there's hour into the so, video. Okay. So as far as Bobby Joe yeah, goes, see Bobby Joe. there's nothing really on Bobby Joe. Well did you look Bobby Joe Playboy? Oh, let me Let me try. Bobby Joe Playboy. Uh <laughs> okay, uh, this is from the website, <laughs> you're gonna love this, Okay. amiannoying.com. Okay. So, so it gives reasons <laughs> as to why a person is annoying or not annoying. Okay. <laughs> why she might be annoying. She went by a single name on Tough Enough. Okay. She was picked just to show off how tough this show would be and for ratings, not ability. She wears a lot of makeup. Right. She takes a lot of time getting dressed. She quit within a week of training. She quit before she could get kicked off. Mm -hmm. Why she might not be annoying. Okay. She really showed off her body. She said she was not that interested in wrestling but wanted to try it. She planned to use Tough Enough as a means of getting into Playboy. Right. Um, since voting their year in review, mm -hmm. uh, her highest percentage was 2003, where 79% found her annoying. Wow. <laughs> All right. I did not know there was a site like that. I'm very curious. Maybe I'll look at that site later and see uh, where some of my least favorite celebrities rank. You know who probably has a pretty high percentage of being annoying? Who? Amy Schumer. I guarantee you she's high up there. Yeah. Can you look it up real quick? I need to know oh, if I'm right yeah. now about it. And then we have to we have to solve this puzzle. <laughs> God, this is so well, not this episode, but this look at this, look how many lights there are. Yes. Heal my PR. Amy Schumer. Yeah. I'm gonna say, hold on, wait, before you say percentage. 
If it's if it's annoying, I'm gonna say it's at least at least ninety percent. It's over ninety percent that people said she was annoying. For twenty twenty three? Yes. Okay. So for twenty twenty three, out of two thousand six hundred thirty six votes, forty six percent found her annoying. Wow, that's low. I'm very surprised by that. I feel like no one likes Amy Schumer. I don't. I would. I'm hard pressed to read a positive Amy Schumer comment on social media. I feel like. All right. All right. Let's solve this puzzle. What am I doing? Okay. Let's get back to solving the puzzle here. Uh, <laughs> no. Look okay, at this sign, so by the way. Walking... Look at this sign. Uh, okay. Oh, it's my yard. Yards game. <laughs> oh. Okay. So you're gonna go get that pole there. All right. So, hit the pole. Okay, and then go to the right and then up. Right there. Got it. Wait uh, here until the other team can hit the other gate controls. All right, so it's up far bay. Okay, so she's going to go down. And then she's going to go to the right and down. All the way down or, or down and no, right? No, no, no. She's going to go up. It's gonna go up, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna have to fight the uh, Oscar Grouch. Right, which is bad because I think Barbe is by herself. No, she should have Nuke. Oh, is he actually gonna do something? Guess so. Alright, what does Nuke have for things? Here we go. Open fire on everyone. Wow, well, actually, this is better. pretty good. <laughs> and then we'll have her throw her, um... Is it natural sight? No. Don't sleep? No. Oh, chemistry class. No, that's not it. What's the one? It is chemistry class. Yeah, I'm glad, you know, you said earlier when we were looking up puffing up people about Maven and his YouTube channel. I mean, I know he has one. I don't really know I, what it's about. Like, I, I haven't watched it, but from, like, the titles I've seen, like, fans ask him questions, and he tells, like, some road stories and other stuff. Apparently, like, the last video that I saw, like being shown was he was apparently offered a chance to come back in 2020 but COVID happened okay so obviously uh, things went another way and never went I'll be honest with you Nuke is actually pretty good I'm glad Nuke won you over oh yeah, get out of there. Uh, hold on. Go up, I believe. Okay, maybe continue to go up. Well, this is as far as I can go. Oh, okay, then go to the right, then. All the way to the right? Yeah. I guess, and then down to and right? Yeah, yeah, down and right. Now what, go up, I assume, because that's all I can do? And to the right, I think. Oh yeah, here it is, this is the other control box. I guess okay. he just got transported there, so I'm gonna go up. Yeah, and he goes up. The video here. Oh, here we go. Is a little behind. So... No, that's. All. I think we're okay. So okay. the desert. Yeah, you can stop. We'll pause it in case we do need to go back to it. But... All right. 
Uh, you, here, you be the Desert Eagle. Oh. Have you figured it out yet? Did you get a good enough job? I think you're Neon Grave Bird, too, actually. Oh. I don't think I can even open my eyes right now. RC Raider? Oh, I'll be RC Raider. Let's show him again. We spent so much time on the puzzle that I forgot what we were even doing storyline was. <laughs> it looks like this is a bad time. Maybe we should come back later. I'm I'll let you know. Okay. Sorry, go I'm ahead. to agree with the private here. The private? Come on, Jimmy, they're no match for us. Beast, beast, uh, look! A stranger approaches! A challenger! That's no challenger. That's just new blood for the sand. Wait, is that... Uh, mechanics? This guy? He's a chop shop operator. I don't know if that qualifies him to be a mechanic. Jimmy, what's going on? The truth is... I used to be part of Wasteland Express. Oh my god, the music. <laughs> <laughs> a few years back, I made a run at being a wrestler. I teamed up with these guys here, and we were good, real good. The best in the race. Mechanics here even had his own armor. Then we got a shot at leaving BEW for a bigger promotion. And this loser backs out. He quit our stable, and we were disqualified from the dark match. All because he was too afraid to take a shot at the big time. Wait, <laughs> not the dark match. <laughs> it's a dark match. No, I'm saying, oh no, not the dark match. Oh. <laughs> I didn't back out, I just decided it would be better to stay local. We were the kings of Buckswood, man. We didn't need to prove anything to anyone. It's a different time now, mechanics. And no one, not even you, can stop us. Oh, see? You think the Wasteland Express is an unstoppable train? The Spice Madness is about to slam right into you, so get ready to be derailed. Bring it on. Create a party of three. Okay. So I'm gonna go with... What? Oh. Slimy's still doing absolutely nothing, but we'll, we'll, we'll put him there. Doing what, though? Okay, I guess Muchacho Man is definitely in... No, I get. Oh, I just gotta choose either Barbe or Nuke. I'm gonna go with Barbe because she's at a higher level. Okay. Because I can't choose either of these two to get out. Boy, they're like, choose a party of three. You have four people, but really, you can only swap out one for one. Yeah, really. <laughs> So are you glad that we uh, spent time talking about Tough Enough today? Yeah, I, I actually am. Now I'm kind of thinking of maybe going back and watching it from the beginning. I, I haven't seen, like, the first season in forever. I... Uh, hold on, let me see. Who's this Muchacho Man? Or... No, this is Toy Box Jimmy. Uh, I'm going to get him to strip their defenses to... <laughs> so I did start episode two already of uh, not episode sorry season two season. episode one uh so there's a couple of people that i recognize i believe this is the season that linda and jackie win yeah it is which is weird because they made a very specific thing in top season one where it's one male winner and one woman winner one yeah. female winner I remember there was a whole episode of Confidential about that. Was it really? 
Yes! Oh, yeah. and, and they had the guys on the phone. You're like, what happened? Uh, let's see. I'll try to do this one. Uh, I think Kenny King was it on episode one as well. He, he makes, spoiler alert, he makes it all the way to the end. Does he? I don't remember that. Yeah, he does. Would be good. No, don't heal him. The guru of screw the you. The guru of screw you. That's pretty good. Right, toy box Jimmy, let's have you do a team move. Why can't you do a team move? I don't know. I don't know why he can't do a team move. I guess he's too lazy. Are you going to try any of the dramatic moments here? What's the dramatic moment? Okay, successfully steal from Grease Beast. Oh. And let one of your units drop to fall. Okay, that's not a bad idea. So this is... So which one's Grease Beast? This one right here. Yeah. There it is. I don't know if I'm going to let one of my units drop to fall. Though. I don't know if I'm that confident. I'm trying to think who else is in that uh, season two that I've seen so far. If there's anyone noteworthy. Oh, Shad is on it. Who? Shad. Shad Gaspard. Oh, oh, Shad Gaspard. Which I completely forgot he was even on that. Yeah, why don't you look up the names on season two and let's see if any of those oh, really I, die. Okay, I have like the contestants, like who made it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's this? What is this okay. the we have Aaron, Alicia, Annie, Danny, Hawk, Jackie. Jackie Dan. Jake, Jesse, Kenny, Linda, Matt. Matt Morgan. Matt and Morgan? Was there? I don't remember seeing him. Yeah. Pete and Robert. Hmm. I actually don't know. I mean, maybe I'm not. Sometimes it's just on in the background. Uh, so maybe I'm not paying attention. I didn't remember seeing Matt Morgan at all. I'm kind of interested to look up Jesse. He would. She has done. Oh, she's married to Tommaso Ciampa. Okay. Uh, let's see. She was diagnosed with vasovagal skin coat and given a heart rate monitor. This is oh yeah. This is gonna happen during an episode. This is gonna happen during an episode of Tough Enough. Oh. See, I don't remember season two as much as one. Because even when I was watching one, I was like, yes, I remember uh, the guy being berated for having the Goldberg poster. I remember that. <laughs> uh, as he should have, by the way. Yeah, should have. Um, so Jesse ends up becoming a stage manager, or stage manager for WWE for a couple of years. Okay. And then she goes back to college, she gets her degree, and then works at TNA. Uh, then she produced an independent film called Thumbnail in 2007. Okay. And then she joined Powder House Productions in June 2008 produced shows such as The Works on the History Channel Mega Engineering and Best in the Business on the Discovery Channel Extreme Bathrooms and Extreme Houseboats on the Travel Channel Masters of Innovation on Plum TV 
as well as the Animal Planet program, Dogs 101, Cats 101, America's Cutest Dog, America's Cutest Cat, Dogs vs. Cats, Everybody <laughs> Love Cats. You almost messed up my, my pin before I, I read you the cat and dog part. Uh, she left Powder House in November 2011 to become a full-time freelance TV producer. Her credits have included Cajun Pawn Star, Northwood Law, Big Brother, and many other television programs. Into the dark match. Complete. It looks like you've crushed our dreams again, mechanics. The BW belt is yours. Take it and get out. Look, guys, there's nothing wrong with staying in Boxwood. I think. Save it, coward. Take your conquest and go. Okay, bye. Doodles. Right, uh, oh, there we go. Tinder Boxwood. Swipe left or swipe right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I think this would be. Well, no, we still have a couple of minutes here left in the video, so let's go at least head over to the next section. Yeah. Did you figure out, by the way, what the one seat, one episode tough enough is? Oh, Lord. Um, and by the way, before I forget, for those wondering, because I said my dollar for six month peacock. Um, yeah, that's because I went to Halloween Horror Night. They give you a thing. And although they said it was free, uh, I did get charged a dollar. I'm going to guess that's like processing fee or something. I wasn't going to make a big stink out of that. So I'm going here. Oh, okay. If you make it to season three of Tough Enough, there's a contestant named Lisa. Okay. Who, in the show, they say she left because she decided wrestling wasn't the right career for her, but there's a lot more to it. Okay. I mean, I'm probably going to watch all of them, even if it's not Watch Watch, where sometimes I'll put something on in the background while I do other things. Okay. Usually that's so, what, usually I do that with upload stuff, like when I have to upload things. Right. Oh, Because as you know, turn. sometimes okay. they, as you know, sometimes uploading takes a long time of you not doing anything. Yeah. Oh, okay, so this is my turn. Yeah, you're slimy. First of all, I also would like to know why Slimy is even getting experience points, because he's done absolutely nothing. Remember, you're going up against the Brooder. He's been on a down streak, but my swamp sense says don't underestimate him. The PAW bosses expect you to lose, but I think you could shake things up by going for a shoot victory. Ooh, <laughs> are we gonna shoot? <laughs> of course I'll be going for victory, even after I have to legitimately break his leg. <laughs> This is your chance to step into the big time. Head to the locker room at the school when you're ready. All right. Now, before we end this video, I want to try one more thing, if, if I remember where it is. Let's see. Is it this way? Maybe it's down here and to the left. By the way, I noticed the British Bulldog sign over there. Did you see this? Oh, yeah, I do too. I don't know if that was there before and we just never noticed it. Uh-oh, I hope we didn't start a... Oh, okay, on that one. I left left by accident. Yeah, all right, so... Not I'm looking for, you know, I'll tell you what I'm looking for, if, if you see it. I want to try to do the dance game again. Dance game? 
Remember that one episode we started? It was like, oh, this is like Dance yeah. Dance Revolution. Yeah. But I don't know where it is. Let me try going. I don't out. think it's in this part. Now. Maybe. Oh yeah, maybe that's it. I gotta go out and then to the slide building. Let's go down here and to the right. And up. No, oh, that's the health store. Yeah. That's the gun store. Gun store. Where this question mark is. Hmm. No, I think that's the exit. Drugstore. Alright, that's alright. I, I don't know where it is. So, anyway, they'll tell people where they can follow you and we'll call a video and catch everyone next time. All right. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at House of Bill and follow me on Instagram, Mr. Billiam85. That's for me. You can catch me at Official RP Jimmy on Twitch and YouTube. And we'll catch you later for some more of WrestleQuest. <laughs>